volunteers, citizen scientists, and organizations like the California Central Coast Monitoring Project are all working together to learn and help Bloys. Now, these birds are asking for your help too. Territories all vary in size, some big, some small, but they all have one thing in common. They provide food sources and a place to nest. The challenge is that we have easy access to these critical parts of their habitat. How do we share this space respectfully and coexist with all the wildlife that lives there? Be aware of the environment that you are in and all that inhabits the area. Be aware of the rules and the regulations and be aware of ropes and signs, especially temporary closures. Look, listen, learn. Use as many senses as you can when you are exploring and enjoying an environment that you are visiting. Wildlife can't use words to tell you what or how they feel. Look at their behavior, listen to their sounds, learn about them. When you observe for five, 10 minutes, you may be amazed by what you see, hear, and feel. A spray from the sea, a whale breaching, a baby otter calling its mother, a pelican gulping, a sardine, even nine black oyster catchers sharing the coast with a community of migrating birds. Your actions definitely impact others, including wildlife in a particular area. When you spend time on the coast or at the beach, please make choices that keep you and others safe. Your actions can either be a disturbance to wildlife or they can show appreciation for it and you can help preserve it for years to come. So spread the word. Share what you learn with others in a kind and positive way. Black oyster catchers already face challenges every year nesting successfully. Their home is in the intertidal area of our rocky coast. Give them the space they need, April through September, to nest. And remember your bloys all year long. <laughs>